kitchen. Jody is cooking. She is cooking up a storm. And me like how she a guan. Me say you want to taste it. You have to taste it. And when you taste it, you can't erase it. Hey, Jody cooking, delicious cooking. Hey, Jody cooking, straight from guys. It's Jody. Welcome back to my channel. So guys, today I've got another amazing, delicious, mouthwatering recipe for you all. I'm going to make some stew goat meat. Yes. So instead of cooking curry goat, I'm going to stew it down. Trust me. I made this before and it was absolutely delicious. If you haven't tried it, you need to try it. Your family, your friend, everyone is going to enjoy it. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also share it to someone that you know will enjoy it. Now keep it to yourself. Thank you all so much in advance. Stay tuned. So just before I show you all my ingredients, I just want to read you all a Bible verse and I pray that you all is blessed by it. It says from Romans 5 verse 8. So this is the word of the Lord. God demonstrate his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Amen. I pray that you all is blessed by this word. I love you, but remember that God loves you all so, 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 so much. Stay blessed and thank you all so much for the hearing of the word of the Lord. So guys, in my bowl right here, I've got at least over two pounds of my goat meat. I have half onion that I cut. Also, I have over one stalk of my scallion. Two tablespoons of my fresh thyme. At least five cloves of garlic. At least one tablespoon of my ginger. Scotch bonnet pepper. Half of my sweet pepper. Red. One small carrot. Tomato. I need at least a small tomato. Small amount of my Irish potato that I cut. Also have my pimento seed, otherwise as allspice, and this is at least one tablespoon, and I, you know, I crush it up. Yeah, that just enhances the flavor more. These are my seasoning. Here I have one tablespoon of my all-purpose seasoning, two teaspoons of my black pepper, one tablespoon of my jerk powder seasoning, and one teaspoon of my paprika yeah so guys now i'm gonna season my goat meat it's already washed and clean in some lime juice and this is how the butcher cut it don't want it to be you know too big i'm just gonna blend my seasoning to add it like so i'm gonna leave back a bit of my seasoning for my gravy at least this amount onions my sweet pepper my carrot pimento seed my scallion, my fresh thyme, garlic, ginger. It's already washed, okay? And this is how I cut my scallion. Just cut them. my potato, my tomato, cut my thyme, and my scotch bonnet pepper. I'm gonna add at least one teaspoon. You don't need a lot because everybody knows that scotch bonnet pepper is very spicy. Add some of my browning. You can also use dark soya. Soya is not gonna make it, you know, look so brown. If you don't have browning, you can also burn your sugar, okay? Two teaspoons of my browning. So my hands is already washed and clean. So I'm just gonna, you know, mix it all in. Make sure that every weird all the meat is all covered with the seasoning and the browning. You say you want to taste it. You have to taste it. And when you taste it. Guys, I wish you could be in my kitchen. Trust me. It's not ready yet, but the seasoning, everything just smells so good. And so authentic. You can always let your meat marinate overnight or even, you know, for one hour. But as I always said, once you season your meat properly, it will still be delicious. Look at that. It is seasoned to perfection. Perfect. So guys, now I'm going to add my goat meat to my pot. So to my pot, I add at least over one tablespoon of my oil. So now I'm going to add my goat meat, as I said. My stove is on a medium heat.
that and shake it off so the onions don't really get into the pot. So guys, do not touch it as yet. I'm gonna leave it just to fry it for at least three minutes, okay? So now we're gonna turn it. I'm gonna leave it for another three minutes. So guys, it has brown. It looks so good. So what I'm gonna do, the, the potatoes, I'm gonna remove it. I'm not gonna add the potato as yet. Closer to the ending of the cooking. Otherwise, they're gonna, you know, cook out. And I'm also gonna remove just a little bit of this, of the tomato, the scallion, the carrot. So now I'm gonna add some water from my kettle. So I add almost all the water from my kettle, the whole jug, and I just mix it all in now I'm just gonna add it I'm gonna add my remaining seasoning you can always taste it to your liking I'm gonna add just a bit of my salt at least half teaspoon that's it always pressure cook your goat meat for it to cook more faster but I'm just gonna cook it just like this Make sure that the goat meat is covered. A little bit more of my browning. I half cover my pot so it doesn't boil over. Just gonna allow it to cook. Not sure how long it's gonna take. Sometimes it takes one and a half hour to two hour. But well, let's see how tough this meat is. So the liquid been reducing. So what I've been doing, I've been putting water in it. It is not fully, fully cooked. Because I want it to be, you know, more tender. Let I put a fork. Yeah, so it's not as soft. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to allow it to cook for at least 30 minutes. Okay? So I'll add some more water from my kettle. Yeah, perfect. Now I'll cover it. So guys, stay tuned. So guys, now I'm gonna check back on my goat meat. As you can see, the fork go right in. So it is nice and tender. So now I'm gonna add my remaining carrot, my remaining tomato an Irish potato and scallion so we're gonna add some ketchup at least over one tablespoon of my ketchup I'm just gonna add just a little bit more of my all-purpose seasoning at least one teaspoon
Let I just half cover it. So guys, it is all finished. Absolutely delicious. So guys, as you can see, I'm just plating it all up. I'm telling you, it came out perfect. It looking absolutely delicious. And so much water in. I cannot wait for you guys to try this recipe. It is a must try. You can serve it up with some rice and peas, some plain rice, whatever of your choice. Here you have it guys. This is how I make my stew goat meat. Please, if you try this recipe, comment below and tell me what it's like. I thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, bye. Love you all. Thank you all so much for all your love and your support. I really, really appreciate it. Bye, guys.